Hi guys, Andy here. Now earlier today I rooted my note for you. You may have watched the video. Um, it literally only takes a couple of minutes. And now there it is. Now I have super user on the device. Now for me the next step, I'm going to install the exposed framework. Um, I've put the APK for myself on Dropbox. And I'm going to install it from there. Uh, basically, Exposed Framework lets you kind of hook into the, uh, well, just a variety of things on the device, basically, allowing you to modify things like battery percentage at the top, the color of the toggles, um, move the clock into the middle, um, other other things like you can change it so that holding down the volume key will turn the flashlight on, all sorts of useful, fun things, basically. So, as I say, we're installing an APK file on my rooted. You have to understand it's very important that your device is rooted. Um, and the first thing we need to do is to install the framework. If we tap on there, yep, yeah, that's fine. And you'll see there, there's basically nothing installed at this point. So, install update. It's asking for root access. We give it root access. That's right, we want changes to become active on the reboot. Here comes the reboot. So here we go back into the device. Oh, there goes Santa. How nice. Now I'm going to go and find exposed installer again. And we should see now. Yeah, don't show that again, that's fine. So now, there we go. It's all green. It's all installed. So, um, in here we see whatever modules we might have downloaded, in, well, installed. And at this point, obviously, there are none. So I'm going to go to download. Um, you can see there the actual installer, it says, is installed. I'm going to search out one of the more popular... There it is. Gravity Box, one of the more popular modules. You can see there's a Jelly Bean, there's a KitKat version, obviously only the KitKat version. Uh, lots of information here. Some of the features that it has, look. Uh, I'll let you read through those yourself. If you so wish, you can pause it and read. I'm going to scroll down to... Oh, no, I've missed it, have I? Sorry, there we go. It's over here on uh, versions. So I'm going to download. Thank you. It's about 4 meg. Doesn't take long. I'm going to tap install. And this one comes as an APK. Not all of them do, I don't think, but this particular one does. Um, so we get this installed. Now, I had to interrupt the video at that point because actually nothing would install. Um, nothing within Exposed and nothing even in the Play Store. So I did a bit of researching, asked about a little bit, and somebody suggested changing something in the uh, the build prop. Now for that I use ROM Toolbox Lite, it's free. And there's the build prop editor. Now I've got to find it again is all. Uh, what was it called? RO Secure Storage. Uh, Security. Have I missed it? There it is. RO Secure Storage. That was set to true. I switched it over to false. Oop. Don't need to reboot because I've not changed anything. Um, and that fixed the problem. So if we go back in now, we'll see that actually. When you install it, they start off the neither of those are actually ticked. So you'll see the modules there. And you have to tick it into place, and it'll then you have to soft reboot. So we come back up to this one, and we tap soft reboot, and it basically just reboots the actual OS, um, much as much as a regular reboot. I guess I don't know. Maybe someone could tell me the exact difference, but it shouldn't be quite as long as if we hold down the thing and, and select restart. So it should be back with us any moment. As you saw, I've only installed two at this point. Um, gravity and the one uh, am exposed. I'll just show you some bits and pieces of what I use each one for. Now, if it's uh, if it's ready, 
Just got to find mm -hmm. gravity, gravity box. There it is. For use on unmodified Android Google Play Edition. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So you see some of the different headings there that can be adjusted. Um, for example, lots of things there I'm not using. In fact, the only thing I'm actually using Gravity Box for is to get rid of the Bluetooth. So you can do change things about the clock, a lot of different, I think one AM lets me do that as well. In fact, you'll see it's in the middle at the moment. Um, so that, that would be that tick. I've done it in a different one, so it's not in here. Um, where is the one somewhere? There we go, Bluetooth icon visibility, hidden. Uh, when connected, when enabled is the default. So you can have it just so it's connected to something. Um, which actually probably not a bad idea, but I'm not sure. Because I have a Bluetooth watch, smartwatch, I, I just want the, it's always on. I don't need the icon there. I know it's always on. But I'm not sure if... Uh, actually, am I on? No, because I did turn it off because I wasn't particularly using the watch. Um, but generally, there's a whole load of things in Gravity Box. But that's all I actually use that one for at this point. Um, just quickly, I'll show you one I'm exposed. So this is the one I have done most of my adjustments with. Um, so, for example, hide the S Finder behind the S Finder header. But so normally you get those two buttons. Uh, I forget if it's quick S Finder and is it Quick Connect or something like that. So it's hidden those. I don't want them. Clock size. Actually, I want the. Oh, it's already set to small. Never mind then. Anyway. Uh, can hide the battery icon. So I've enabled circle battery. As you can probably see, I've actually run it quite low. I've not didn't recharge overnight, so we're down to 35%. But then what I've really used it for, again, you'll notice those are quite different looking to stock uh, stock Samsung icons, the colors. It took a fair bit of uh, guesswork, trial and error, and I've got to be honest, I couldn't even tell you now exactly which ones to change. I think these two here, those System Hollow, uh, Light and Dark, are two with actual system-wide color changes. So I changed them to some kind of dark blue, trying, again, trying to change this, not sure which bits I had to, and it actually changed that, all the different kind of, I don't know, install screen, kind of, instead of a white background, I had like a dark blue background. So I think that was, I think that was those two, I put those two back. I think the ones I really mucked about with that seemed to work in the end were quick settings. I think it was those. So icon color, for example, is the sort of the darker, the darker blue look. Um, so the left hand side, oh no, so the right hand side is where left hand side must be what's already selected. Looks a bit lighter than that. Anyway, let's come back. So that's that's what I use one and for. So really. It's all about keeping the actual stock ROM, so it is still a stock ROM, but it's it's making adjustments like that um, to make it more visually appealing, to try and hide some of Samsung's ugliness, really. So I don't know if that's helped you at all or not. Um, you can ask questions in the comments below, but I'm, I'm no expert in Expos. I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do whatever I can for you. So there you go. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.